Hi everyone, it's Nicole Wilkins with Fitness RX for Women, and this is my next question and answer segment where I took your questions from Facebook and I'm gonna answer them for you today. The first question is, what supplements and vitamins do you believe are essential for a woman to be taking to increase lean mass? Supplements that I would recommend if your goal is to build muscle would be creatine. So creatine is something that is found in a lot of the meats that you're already eating, and it's a great way to increase your strength, which will lead to increased muscle. Whey protein, it's a really easy, quick source of, of protein that you can take pretty much at any time throughout the day. It's a very convenient source as well. Just make sure that you have low carbs, low fat, and high protein. So anywhere from three to four grams of carbs, one to two grams of fat is the best. I would say branch chain amino acids and L-glutamine because they will help with recovery and muscle soreness and immunity. So those are the supplements that I would recommend if you're looking to build muscle. Do you recommend fasted cardio? I do fasted cardio in the morning. Fasted cardio is obviously cardio in the morning before you eat breakfast because I feel like it helps me burn that extra body fat, extra little bit of body fat that I'm trying to get off. Studies say 10 to 15% more body fat is burned. However, it isn't for everybody. So if you're the type of person who does fasted cardio in the morning and you're like a snail, you just don't have the energy, you feel lightheaded, you can't push yourself, then I would say wait, have a few meals in you and do it later when you have the most energy and you can push harder and burn more calories. So it isn't for everyone, but I like to get it done out of the way and not have to worry about it the rest of the day. And again, I, I have seen physically more change by implementing it. Do you believe in cheat meals to keep your metabolism lively? If so, how often do you have them and what's your favorite cheat food? I think cheat meals or refuel or refeeds or however you want to call it are beneficial so that you're not at a calorie deficit for a very long duration of time and you're, it kind of, it spikes your metabolism, it gives you a boost of energy, it's good for the mindset, it uh, helps with your strength. So if you've been at a really, really low calorie deficit for a long duration of time and you're not really seeing a whole lot of progress, sometimes incorporating a cheat meal or just double the amount of carbs or even triple the amount of carbs that you're normally taking in can help spike and speed your body up and so that you start to see more change. I don't have cheat meal every single week. And I think that if you're just starting out and you're just starting eating healthy and you have a lot of weight to lose, I would wait and hold off on cheat meals because you can go overboard with them and then it can take three to four days for you to get the cheat meal off so that you're where you were before you had it. You can, um, I probably have a cheat meal maybe once every two weeks or once a month. Uh, sometimes I save them for special occasions, but they're usually planned out in advance and I keep them a little bit larger than a normal size meal, but I have whatever I want and usually that's Mexican food or sushi, and I don't measure it. It's just a free meal, and I enjoy every second of it and never feel guilty about it. Hi, Nicole. Have you heard of reverse dieting? If so, your thoughts. Also, when tracking your macros for carbs, do you count net carbs or total carbs? I have heard of reverse dieting, and I think it is great, especially for those who do compete, when you're on a very strict diet for a long time and your calories are low, your training intensity is high, you don't want to drastically decrease your intensity of your training and drastically increase your uh, amount of calories because you're going to gain weight very fast. So you want to do a gradual decline of cardio and a gradual incline of calories. So through macros, just they, and they can be small, small increments, like 10 to 15 grams of carbs at a time every week or two based on your progress and how you're feeling. But that is called a reverse diet, and I think it's the best way to get out of a diet, the, the safest way, the best way, and it allows you to be more consistent so you don't feel like you don't have a plan to follow. 
Um, there's a lot of really good benefits to doing a reverse diet. And when I'm counting my, to my carbs, I count the total carbs. So I count all fiber, I count every carbohydrate that goes into my mouth. And the last question I have is, what is your take on how many fruit servings you should have in a day? Well, not just fruit, but I would look at your total carbohydrate consumption and the total amount of sugar that you're consuming. I would recommend staying under 50 grams of sugar a day, and that's including the natural sugars that you have in carrots and some vegetables, as well as fruit. So staying one to two servings a day is good, and keeping them more toward the morning and or around your workout, where it's gonna be faster absorbing and utilized is best. If you are a person who struggles at night with sweets and you have a sweet tooth and you wanna have ice cream, if you are in a predicament like that or a situation where you feel like you're gonna give in, having an apple that's 120 calories or 100 calories is much better than having a huge bowl of ice cream and it satisfies you just as much. So the sweetness, the higher fiber will keep you satisfied. There's a lot more vitamins and nutrients in an apple so in situations like that then i would say go ahead and have one at night too all right guys those guys those are my questions for this week if you have any questions ask them on the fitness rx for women facebook page and i'll be back here every friday to answer them for you until then keep living the fit life